Even if he goes up, okay? If I give him top spin and he goes, it's hard to do with this, but it's, there's no top spin. Okay? Anytime I give top spin, it's going to come back out as some back spin. No matter what he does, his return is based on what I give him, not so much what he does. Now, if, here's the thing. He can use my backspin to produce top spin, so he can attack. So you have to be very careful when you give backspin to the wrong hip player, because that's the ball they can hurt. So would you block one, and I'll push one, and you attack, okay? So, block. Now, use, your, use your pitch. He's actually more limited than the player who has this racket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
He can only do certain things based on what you give him. Yeah. Yeah. Biggest problem that people have is that they just refuse to practice against long pitch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they go to a tournament and they're not used to it. Yeah. If you play every day, a few minutes with somebody who has long pitch, you get to where it's just another racket. You don't worry about it. No big deal. Yeah. And it's the same thing, what about the short pitch? Short pitch is very normal rubber. It doesn't do anything on un normal at all. It just it doesn't, doesn't make quite as much spin. It's more for attacking, flat hitting. There's none of this spin reversal at all. Top spin, top spin, back spin, back spin. 100% normal. Um, and the long pitch. Anti is even more limited than this. All right. Anti is very difficult to attack with. Um, you get all your, it depends which type of anti you're talking about. There's a traditional anti that has some grip, and then there's frictionless anti. Frictionless anti, you get back more spin, but it's very limited on anything else. From the long pins, mm -hmm. if it comes to the back end, mm -hmm. to open and push is okay. But if you get in the forehand, mm -hmm. short, it is really difficult. Yeah. Generally, from the long pins to forehand push, mm -hmm. how do Okay, from here, if he gives it to the forehand, mm -hmm. what is the best way to do it? I can do anything I want to do. If it is out, maybe loop is okay, but if it is inside. Was she talking about short? Short. You either push it back with no spin. Back to the tip. Okay. Okay. I don't want to push to his forehand because that's his mm -hmm. that's his attacking shot. Mm -hmm. so go back to the long pitch with very little spin. Okay. Yeah. Or I flip to a corner. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you have me here, if you come here, he's going to attack with your forehand. He's going to be in trouble. But if I play no spin to the backhand, he can hit, but it's not going to have any speed. So it's easy for me to recover. The more spin you give this pitch, the better. So if you get in trouble, go to the pitch with, without much spin. If you go to the pitch with spin, you're, you're giving him what he likes. I'm not trying not to give away your secrets. Everybody say But just in general. It's really not that difficult. Now, as your coaches, every one of you should have a long pitch racket in your bag. Yes. Mm -hmm. Every one of you. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you should practice a little bit with your long pitch so you understand it and these, your players have somebody to play. And always the person who writes to me the most, I hate long pitch. Bah, bah, bah. I give them a long pitch racket. <laughs> and I say, every day you play 10 minutes with this racket. Mm -hmm. And then after a few weeks, they go, I understand. I understand what is happening. Uh, it's no big deal. Yeah. Uh.